This tutorial describes displacement and rotational constraints for static, modal vibration, dynamic response, modal response, and buckling analysis in LISA. You will need to be knowledgeable of the various element behaviors, and the freedom of movement that their nodes have. In some element types, its nodes can both displace and rotate, while in other element types they can only displace. Applying a rotational constraint in the latter case will have no effect. Try to apply constraints, to edges and faces rather than nodes, as they will automatically be applied, to any new elements created in a mesh refinement. If constraints are applied to nodes, they will not automatically be applied, to the new nodes of a mesh refinement. To eliminate all nodal movement capable as per the element type, select a face. Then right-click Loads and Constraints, and select Fixed Support. To constrain nodal displacement, along one of the global axis directions, while permitting nodal displacements to occur along the remaining axes, select a face, right-click Loads and Constraints, then select New Displacement. Select the axis direction, and accept the default zero value. To apply a fixed support to the edge, of plane and shell elements, in the Select Nodes mode, select an edge. Then switch to Select Faces mode. The edge becomes selected. Right-click Loads and Constraints, and select New Fixed Support. Follow the same steps to apply a selective constraint along only one of the global axis directions. To apply a fixed support to the end of a line element, its cross-sectional shape needs to be displayed. Activate the Select Faces mode. Select the end face. Then right-click Loads and Constraints, and apply the fixed support. To apply a constraint, along a single global axis direction, in Node Select mode, select a node. Then apply the constraint. The nodes of beam and shell elements, can both displace, and rotate. To constrain the nodes from rotating, in Node Select mode, select the nodes. Right-click Loads and Constraints, choose on selected nodes, then select either Road X, Road Y, or Road Z. The X, Y, and Z refer to the rotation about the X, Y, and Z axes. This ends the tutorial, on constraining nodal displacement and rotation. Please view the other load and constraint tutorials, to learn about Lisa's capabilities.